today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3x4 double sided piston door. So let's hop straight into it. So first we obviously need to build the door. As you see I've already built the frame. Four blocks on each side and then you go up by five. And now we need to put some glazed terracotta behind this, just like this, or you can use obsidian or any other non movable blocks. That's so the honey and slime doesn't stick to the ground, otherwise, it's not gonna work. And now we need our pistons, and they're gonna go on just like this. Because we need our double piston extenders. Now we need to build our double piston extenders. And we are going to have to put them one block underground. Otherwise, the slime and honey will mess it up. So we need repeater here on one tick, repeater here on four, repeater here on three, repeater here on four. And then connect it up with some redstone dust. And we'll do the same on one side, repeater on one, repeater on four, repeater on four, repeater on three. Just like that. Now I'm going to dig out right here and connect these. And we also need the back side of this since this is double sided. And you can make this with a lever or a button. At first, I'm just going to show you the lever, but I will show you how to make it with a button. So first we need glass here, redstone dust here, repeater here, glass here, redstone dust here. This is where we'll be able to connect up our lever to. And we need this repeater here, otherwise it won't go the full length. And now we need to bring it over here, grab a solid block and place it right here and connect all of this up. Now. As you see, when we press this, all of these should extend, and the bottom two layers should work. Though, what's the bottom two layers without the top two layers? So let's put some redstone dust there, repeater there, solid block there with a redstone torch above it. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, just like that. And we're going to put some solid blocks above them, just like that, with the redstone dust on them. And now we're going to go up by one, just like this, and build around it a little bit, and then build up a little bit. And we're going to do the same on the other side, just like this. This is so we can activate our we're double piston extenders from the top, otherwise these are going to get in the way. And now we're going to put some redstone torches on just like that. And we're essentially just going to copy what we did down there, but we are going to do it up here, just like that. And of course, same on the other side. So, as you see when we flick this, it's all going to retract. And now, as you see, it's pretty simple. But, of course, it doesn't really work as well with the lever because obviously, you know, you don't see the other side unless you're locking someone in a prison. So we need to make this with a button now. So, first get rid of that lever, smack a button down with a torch behind it, just like that. And that will work the same as a lever, but it only activates for a limited amount of time, as you see. And you could always hook this up to a pulse extender, but it's not necessary because you can walk through it fast enough, as you see. I flick this and go through, as you see. There's enough time to get through. But 
you need to be able to get in through the other side. So let's fix that. Let's smack a button there with only a slight amount of excess force. If you're going to use the button, you're going to need to move the pillar on this side a little bit, which is fine. As you see, we're just going to do a little bit of this here. And as you see, there we go. This is just to make a room for what we're going to build here. So we're going to put some redstone dust there. And bring this around like that. Make sure the redstone dust doesn't touch that block. And we need a repeater in here. And of course we can bring it up there just like that. And oops, I broke a redstone dust there on accident. So now as you see, it's just like that and let me just do this but of course we need to make it close and then open so we need to flip the signal a bit now we can put a block here or a trapdoor but trapdoors open and close and stuff and then put a torch there and bring this into there like that. Now, as you see, when we press this, it will open. And when we press this, it will also open, making it double-sided. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. But until then, this is Comine. Goodbye.